Climate change is now a reality for all of us in every location around the world. The Arctic is, however, warming faster than anywhere else on the planet. And because it's a place where just such a small difference can make uh, the change between having an ice skating rink and a swimming pool, so to speak, there's so much important frozen parts of the Arctic system. We are really seeing dramatic and rapid changes that are challenging to those living there and also challenging to those of us living very far away as uh, the Arctic has many tethers to the rest of the world. And, and why is it more pronounced in the Arctic? What, why is climate change happening faster there than other, other places on the planet? There are a few elements that add to the Arctic warming faster than other places around the planet. One of them is as we're losing the bright sea ice that covers the Arctic Ocean, we're exposing dark ocean waters and those dark ocean waters are better at taking up heat from the sun and that produces more warming at other parts of the year in the Arctic. Another thing that happens is that as we warm our air temperatures in the Arctic, we're able to hold more water vapor in the air. And I know this may not be something we're talking about commonly because it's um, something that, that, that changes naturally with temperature, but with those warmer temperatures, we have more water vapor in the air and that also produces more warming at the surface. Do you think there is still time to turn things around? Because we keep on hearing these stories over and over and uh, it can all get very depressing. But is there still time for world leaders to take, and people around the world to take action on their own to try to prevent this getting worse? Absolutely. One thing that I really love about studying the Greenland ice sheet is that there's a body of ice that can tell us about the further future. And there is absolutely no question right now that the future of the Arctic, much as the it is connected with the future of the world is entirely dependent right now on human action and on taking really ambitious action to remove polluting gases from our atmosphere and stabilize our global temperature. There's no question that dramatic and fast action can have a very big impact on these changes.